is going on everyone it is fatal reaper here today bring you a video in a day we're going to be talking about pre-built and versus custom so personally if we're on the subject i would highly recommend a custom pc if you're actually looking to um upgrade uh that being said we'll be talking about some other uh, pcs as far as pre-built on here on my uh, phone i'll be pulling some up and i'll have them pop up over here or actually over here and it'll be I'll be telling you uh, what the price is and um, if that's a you know pretty decent pills PC and stuff like that so uh, go ahead and start off right off the bat I do have a custom PC now I have gone through two two pre-builds one custom one other custom and then now a custom another custom so what happened first was I had a I did have a pre-built it was just a desk it was literally just a desktop you buy at Walmart and it was not obviously anything for gaming I then took the step to uh, do a little bit of research, not what I should have, and just jumped and bought a seven hundred dollar GTX sixteen six fifty <laughs> and a Rise i three. It was like a Ryzen three, so it was absolutely terrible. Could not do anything. Could not play Fortnite. Could not do absolutely anything I wanted to do. So if you're really looking to buy one, I would definitely highly recommend you do your research first and really think about what you're buying and what you want. For your gaming experience and stuff like that so that being said there are some pre-builds that are pretty decent so I got one right here actually this is a laptop and you guys have seen this video or you can check this video out uh, I have a bunch of videos showcasing the HP Pavilion and that is what this is right here this is the HP Pavilion laptop and it has a GTX 1650 in it 4 gigabyte and a Ryzen it's a excuse me it's an Intel it's an i5 uh, 9300 actually so and that's the CPU for it, and that's that's not bad. That's pretty that's pretty good uh, qualifications in that. Um, it's actually a little bit better than my old PC, my old custom. So or it's about the same. So it's not not half bad, especially for a laptop. You're not really gonna get that a lot of places uh, for a laptop like that, and especially for what I paid for it. I only paid six hundred dollars even for it. So that's something really good. Um, pa HP Pavilion, on the other hand, off also offers a desktop. So right here we got we're looking at it's got a Ryzen. Now this is AMD. Which is Ryzen, which is actually better for streaming. Intel is more get better for actually gaming performance. So, uh, you know, that's really just personal preference. So, if we look at this one, it has an AMD Ryzen 5 2400 and a GTX 1050 Ti, which was actually the same graphics card that was in my old original uh, custom PC. So, and that's a HP Pavilion desktop, and that's seven hundred and forty nine dollars. That is not really a bad deal. Uh, if you you know if you were gonna buy something like that and you only had seven hundred eight hundred dollars, that's not bad. You just wanted a desktop right then and there. That's not bad. But you have to actually take in consideration other things, like you know monitor, uh, your keyboard, your mouse, stuff like that. Personally, that's not a bad deal. And uh, if I was someone who couldn't spend really a lot, and uh, you know I would probably that's not a I would highly recommend that. So an HP Pavilion, especially with this laptop, has been really good from my experience and from what I've, uh, you know, looked at and everything like that. So real quick, I'm going to pick up my webcam here and show you guys my PC. So right over here, we've got my PC and my setup and everything like that. Um, so right here, we've got, you know, all my fans I've had set up. This is the graphics card, obviously. That's the CPU, the CPU cooler over it. And that was the case that uh, I chose. I really like the white. And, and, you know, you're really getting what exactly what you want out of the custom PCs. Um, I'm gonna have my my PC pull, pop up again right here, and you guys will see that. And uh, that's just a picture of mine, a picture I took, which you just saw it in the video. So, um, so the PC, the HP Pavilion desktop we're talking about, uh, right here. Uh, you know, that's not bad. That's that's pretty good. You're not really getting any lights or anything like that. But usually, a lot of PCs that you get that don't look oh all flashy and stuff are usually better, because you know less money has gone towards the flashiness of them. Alright guys, so in this portion of the video, I added this later on, before I actually uploaded the video, I decided to do this. So on your left, you're seeing a pre-built PC. This was my first ever pre-built PC, and it was a CyberPower. Not hating on CyberPower, they make some really, really good PCs. But the one I happened to buy, um, I really didn't pay attention to the build, and I did not get what I was looking for. On your right is my now custom PC. Now obviously that is Fortnite Chapter 2 on the right, and the original, I believe that was Season 3, Season 4-ish of uh, Fortnite back in the day but so that there is a difference there even if we did have the same setup back then but that still showed you how that, that that no matter what that was just it just looked so choppy 
and that was on my pre-built. And I believe it was a 650, like a GTX 650 graphics card, really low grade. I mean, you see over here on custom PC, look how smooth and uh, much of a difference that is. Like you're just getting a phenomenal difference in it. So, like I was saying, guys, you really, you really, you get what you pay for. So, if you're looking to get a custom or pre-built, I again, I highly recommend a custom. Now, don't let this one on the left fool you. You can get good PCs, uh, good pre-built that are just like the one you're seeing on the right is a custom PC. But you're gonna have to pay more, and you're gonna have to really look at what you're buying. But um, again, uh, down, down, d uh, you know, really, what comes down to it, I would say. Definitely go for a custom PC, take your time, and you can also, again, you know, build it piece by piece. So, that's personally my, um, opinion on it. Uh, again, that this was chapter, this was, this was original Fortnite versus the chapter 2 now and everything like that. So, it is a bit of a difference. However, you know, it would still, even with the same setup, probably look way different as well. Um... Again, but if you're really looking to uh, get a pre-built or a custom, again, custom would be the way to go. That is my personal opinion. What my parts are, um, as far as my processor and everything else goes. Um, and if you guys want to know more, please let me know down in the comments. If you guys want to see more videos, let me know down in the comments of uh, showcasing and talking about pre-builds and custom. So if you're if you're wanting it, my actual, uh, you know, advice at the end of the day. Really, just do what you're, what's best for you. Um, definitely do your research. I'm just take my word for it. Watch other videos. Uh, do your own research on what you want, what you're looking for. Uh, but custom is personally my, from my experience, take it from someone who's bought pre-built. I've had a pre-built lap, uh, pre-built PC, p piece of crap laptop, and then now I have a really good laptop and stuff. And that's, you know, you're really getting what you pay for. You really gotta know what you're buying. Which then again, I spent seven hundred dollars on a pre-built, and it was complete crap did not do anything I wanted it to do and only had a 650 graphics card in it and a, like an I it was like a Ryzen 3 so if that tells you anything it was pretty bad so um, again my personal opinion custom is the way to go you get exactly what you want you can buy it that's another uh, thing you have to think about you can buy the parts one by one and then put it together so if you're someone you know you ain't trying to you know you don't have the money right now because that I was the same way and you've got a just you know buy you can't spend as much all at once you can just buy part for part and then eventually just put it together and there you go you got your PC you might have to wait longer but it's worth it in the end trust me so again at the end of the day custom PC is the way to go if you really if you're really uh, looking to enhance your gaming performance and really wanting to get the best out of, out of what you're buying is my personal opinion um, again customs I don't have bad customs sometimes they do have some pretty good customs uh, that are pretty decent, especially like the laptop we were just talking about as far as, uh, you know, laptops are normally considered not the best for if you're actually trying to do um, gaming and stuff like that, but this one actually plays pretty well, um, unless you spend usually a lot of money, and this one was only 600 so, and it's pretty decent, um, but again, uh, I would definitely recommend a, a, a custom, I mean, a custom just way to go. Um, and you know, if you guys have any more questions, please leave me a comment down below. I'll do more videos, uh, show you more tests on games if you want to see that and stuff like that. And again, I'll, I'll leave my setup in the description. It's normally in the description if you want to see my processor and stuff like that. If you guys want to know what kind of motherboard I have and stuff like that, I'll also leave that down below if you want to know. Um, but again, uh, that's kind of my, my, my personal opinion on what you should do if you're really looking to buy a custom or a, uh, pre-built PC. Again, there's not bad pre-builds out there there's some really good ones but i would at the end of the day go with a custom so if you're really looking to get a pc enhanced your gaming performance go out and buy a custom buy one by one and then get it put together have someone help you and again guys i hope you enjoyed this video i want you um hit that like button if you enjoy my videos if you want to see more please subscribe to the channel it really helps me out and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching